Hey everybody, just a quick video log for today. It's sunny, 38 degrees according to the airport. Uh, still a bit chilly out, but it's going to be like that for a while. But it's nice in the sun. It's nice to have sunshine. And having the snow go away. I don't mind snow as long as it's during a prescribed period of time and not all at once. Okay, so, <sighs> had a very nice three-day weekend. Um, Saturday, of course, we went up to Coeur d'Alene for the Huckleberry's online blog fest. Had lots of fun. Um, finally got a decent video put up. Um, the music bit was done on my this camera so it was slightly different format so it was didn't come out quite as well but it still came out good but I got up there to discover that I spent a lot of film footage on Cabela's and getting there and I forgot to bring my spares so oops oh well thank goodness for backups though I did have this little camera so if need be I could have used it but uh, the other one was just handy. So, as you may notice, my previous video says reload. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but um, my longer videos, for some strange and odd reason, were just not coming out. Now, this is really strange because the lasagna, cooking with Jean lasagna and cooking with Jean Cornish pasties, were both done on the same processed on the same day using the same program. In fact, I had them pretty much all on the same tapes because depending on what I was doing, I was back and forthing because I had one thing going and then another. But I uploaded them on two different days, one on the 11th, one on the 12th. So something happened between the time I uploaded lasagna and the time I uploaded pasties. I don't know. I used the multi video uploader for the bigger files. Lasagna looks great. Pasties looks like crap. So I am going to go back and I'm going to redo pasties in a different format. Uh, I wound up redoing Blogfest as an AVI. Um, my program, I use CyberLink PowerDirector, which is actually a very nice little program. I quite like it. Though I've been getting recommendations from other YouTubers on what they use. So Hubby is checking stuff out for me to let me know what's going on. So in the meantime, I will redo Cornish Pasties and upload it again so I can have a better copy. I will probably leave the old one up uh, due to the fact that I've got a number of comments and a lot of hits on it, so. Somebody came in, I'll talk to you later. Out here. So as you can see, snow going away. Lovely. It's pretty. So where was I? Okay, well I had my test on Friday. Um, I think I did okay. I um, have to check Blackboard and see if she's got the grades posted yet or not. So, uh, yep, we'll see. But, oh, I think I'm going to find a spot of sunshine. Hello. Okay. I'm going to be a little more awake for things. <laughs> I thought I just recorded the last several minutes, but apparently not. But I was in the kitchen chatting, showing off the kitchen. So a little microwave, full, lots of storage. I wish I had this much storage in my kitchen. Uh, nice refrigerator. Like I said, very nice, simple microwave. I would love to have one of these in the house. This would be really nice. This is the instant hot water. So, but tons of storage. 
nice coffee maker. If I was still drinking coffee, the next coffee maker would be these. Um, well, I tried drinking coffee on Saturday, and it was my usual cup, which I usually go, and it's gone, and I'm looking for more. Well, it took me forever to finish it, so I guess I'm kind of off my coffee. I'll just have it once in a while. <sighs> Where was I? Lovely weekend. Still haven't figured out what my grade is. Been a little busy. I have to figure out. But, uh... I so can't wait for gardening season. I really, 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 really want to go out and start digging up dirt. But I think, first things first, I've got to get the greenhouse built. Um, I don't have enough window panes to do it. So I think we're going to be doing a series of heavy-duty plastic and PVC pipe where I can. And... Uh, well, we'll see what we get, because I was watching Good Eats last night, and Elton Brown was doing, showing a really, really, really to, totally to die for oven roasted broccoli recipe. And uh, to tell you the truth, I grew up absolutely loathing broccoli. But then again, it wasn't until I was in my mid-20s that I discovered broccoli wasn't supposed to be gray and limp. So... <laughs> My mother was a child of the 40s and 50s, where you cooked everything to death. So now I actually love broccoli. I love broccoli fresh off the, the out of the garden, lightly steamed, little lemon, maybe a little butter, a little olive oil, just something. Um, even cheese sauce. I like cheese sauce. Good cheese sauce. Uh, my husband calls it trees and cheese. I've actually gotten to like cauliflower. Now that I know that cauliflower isn't supposed to be boiled to death. So if I can get my greenhouse up and running, I can get a lot of these plants started. And if I do it right, I can have a greenhouse for the fall. And the plan is that so I can have grow cold weather greens for as long as possible. Which would be really, 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 really nice. And today is a pink flamingo day. Normally, Pink Flamingo Days are Mondays, but since Monday was spent lazing around on the couch, little housework, whatnot, I've declared today is Pink Flamingo Day. <laughs> but, oh, so, to reiterate, playing around with the software, checking out other software for doing videos. I uh, need to see if I can do some special effects on CyberLink. Because uh, there are some places where I really want to speed things up, up, so it's like we're zooming through post-fall so we get to Cabela's. That way I can condense a whole long, boring drive into a few seconds. So that's my next project. Uh, still working on web pages. Um, uh, let's see. Phoebe is totally, totally, totally happy. The snow is mostly going away. There's still some snow, and she insists on going out on it, and then she gives me this most perturbed looks like, it's your fault. I'm going, Kat, you're the one who insisted on walking out onto that last bit of snow. You could have gone around, but no, you had to walk across it and made, and, and, and acted like, oh, you were dying, silly girl. Uh, she's gotten a lot more snuggly of late, usually at bedtime. In fact, um, I couldn't move much because she snuggled right into the small of my back last night. But uh, I'll take it since she's, I guess, getting out of her, 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 her petulant teenage stage. We still have the shadow kitten in the house. I have got to catch him and get him back out of the house uh, since if we do wind up with them as if they are strays, if he and these are strays, they're going to be mostly outdoor kitties, except when the weather is crappy. So, I six cats in the house is a little much. We've done that before, and oh boy, that place is not big enough for two, two humans and six kitties. Especially with Nicky, with his n little nose bent out of joint and going extra needy and going out of his way to get us to pay attention to him, which he doesn't need to do because we play plant 
pay plenty of... I still can't talk much. So, well, my lunch is beckoning me, and so is my book. I am reading a book called Bone in the Throat by Anthony Bourdain. He is the chef. He's the, the star of Anthony Bourdain's No Reservations. And I'm not sure what's going on, but he's no longer a complete and utter whole. We used to uh, we tried watching the, the, the Cook's Tour, whatever the show was he originally did for the Food Network. It was a half an hour show, and he completely came across the complete and utter dickwad. Uh, but we started watching the No Reservations, and something, my husband thinks it may have been the, the trip he made to Beirut when uh, they wound up getting into it with Israel again, um, may have kind of two by four him upside the head, but whatever. I like him a lot more now. Okay, yeah, he still can be a bit of a dimes, but uh, there's a lot more depth to him now than what was before. And, uh, heck, I'd hang around with him. Of course, I'd probably need a baseball bat on a few occasions, but, but uh, he's a darn good writer. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to tracking down the sequel for this book. And actually, I wouldn't mind reading some of his other books, um, Kitchen Confidential and whatnot. This is, this is a novel, and it's not a true, true life story. So, lunchtime. I will talk at you later. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.